A show of China's force in the air and its advanced technology. I think everyone cares most about H-20 bomber, but it's not here. Maybe we'll have to wait for a few more years. Other than that, it's the J-20 fighter. J-10 and J-20 stealth fighters are among the highlights at this air show in Zhuhai city. It's part of Beijing's drive to compete against Western rivals in selling its latest military hardware and technology. The main feature of the FK-2000 air defence weapon system is that it's a combat vehicle integrated with an air defence system. It has two sets of radar, a photoelectric sensor, six missiles on each side and two anti-aircraft guns. It's a show the US is likely to keep a close eye on. It signed a security pact with the UK and Australia that includes providing nuclear-powered submarines to Canberra as a deterrent against what they see as Chinese threats in the Indo-Pacific region. Last week, leaders of Japan, Australia and India met US President Joe Biden in the White House. The so-called Quad is seen as a counterweight to China's growing influence and says it's committed to what it calls a free, and open Indo-Pacific region. China has also bought military outposts on artificial islands in the South China Sea in an effort to reclaim territory that's also claimed by other countries in the region. Back in Zhuhai, China shows off its prototype of the advanced CH-6 drone. Unmanned aerial vehicles used in reconnaissance roles and in combat missions. I think that's where the trend is really heading towards uh, for China in mimicking uh, the, 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 the trends uh, are set by the United States as the leading military power in the world. Uh, we've seen over the last two decades a shift towards a lot of autonomous, unmanned, inte highly intelligent uh, 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 military platforms uh, on land and uh, in the sea and, and in the air. Industry experts say although many of China's aircraft aren't yet a match for those in the U.S. Air Force, Beijing's clearly out to narrow that gap. Laura Bertamanli, Al Jazeera.